Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how you can visualize and analyze your logsec graph so that in the end you get something like this where you can see all the main topics that exist in your notes, the relations between them and where you can use the built-in AI to generate some interesting research ideas or questions uh, in relation to your discourse. We'll be using the application that's called Infranodus. Uh, the reason for that is that the original graph visualization in LogSec uh, is just good for an overview, but you don't really see how the things are connected, and it also doesn't analyze the content. Whereas if you export this graph here uh, into the MD format, Markdown, and then import it into Infranodus, you will get something like this. And here is where I would like to stop closer. So first of all, uh, when you have an overview of a graph like this, the main difference from the graph that you have in LogSec is that you actually have graph theory algorithms and network science algorithms applied to the view of this graph. So the sizes of the nodes, they correspond to the influence of those ideas in the whole network and the colors, they indicate the different topics that exist in this discourse, right? So I can see, for example, that I've been writing a lot uh, on networks and scale-free networks and fractal dimensions and consciousness. So there's quite a mix here. And let's say I want to come back to this discourse. So this is my first task to just have a reminder of what I was writing about and to then generate some interesting ideas. So first of all, what I like to do is to look at the graph and just uh, see what are the main topics here in the analytics panel. I can see that I was writing about scale-free networks, fractal dimensions, fractal networks. Then I understand there was something about small world networks, diffusion. I guess it was something about propagation of information and here epidemic spreading. So I get an overview. This is fine. The next step is that I can switch the graph view here to only view the connections between the pages. So this is what you normally see in a uh, LogSec or any other apps. Uh, these are just the connections between the pages. But also a very nice feature is that I can also see the connections between the concepts. So this is where Infranodus is very different because it doesn't only analyze this, the, the, the relations between the pages but also the concepts that you use in your text. So this becomes a very interesting tool to analyze what you've written and to also come up with new pages based on uh, you know what you've been writing about. So I would normally go into the pages view first and see what the pages are connected to. So I remember that I've been writing about the connections between fractal measures of networks and scale-free measures, if there's any connection between these two. Then I can dive into the concepts and start exploring what exactly I was writing. So for example, if I click on fractal network here, I will select those two terms. I can look at the other terms they're related to. So I see that it's related to scale-free, characteristics of nodes, and so on. And I also get the excerpt from uh, my text here that contains these two terms. So I can get to the part of my discourse that is interesting for me and also analyze what I've been writing about. The next step that I like to do is to, to remove the nodes that seem obvious. So for example, I know I've been writing about networks. This is not going to bring me any new information. So I'm going to select this on the graph and then click this button to hide it. And then I will see everything that else that it's connected to. So here I see the word fractal. I can also hide it. And now I start to see some interesting things. For example, something about degree distribution here. And now I remember that a very important point was to use degree distributions to analyze uh, whether the network is scale-free or fractal. So I'm going to add this idea now. I'm going to click on interpret overlay here. I can also add the ideas through here, but it's nicer to do it here because they're tagged and then you can import them back into LogSec or any other tool you use. So for example, I can say that we can measure uh, whether an network is, and here I will use the same scale free or fractal or has a fractal dimension, let's say, using degree distribution. Actually, this doesn't exist yet, so I'm just going to add it as a new page. Then I add it into the graph, and now I'm going to see how the concepts get added here. Deselect this 
and continue exploring. So for example, here I have uh, this concept added here. Now I will also talk about consciousness and dimension and see what I've been writing about dimension. Okay, so there was some relation between consciousness and fractal dimension of a network. Okay, add this information inside. Those terms are added now and they're shown on the graph as well. And gradually, step by step, I will be exploring all those concepts. I can also use the analytics panel here and come up with new ideas. And then gradually, I will integrate all those ideas into my discourse. They will have a new tag called interpret. Once I select all those statements that are added, I can also export them in MD format, markdown format, and get them back into Obsidian. But another really, really interesting feature is that you can actually use GPT-3 AI to generate ideas on top of your existing ideas. So basically, you can start with the general view where you have the pages and the concepts at the same time and use the gap inside feature here. So I will actually return all the nodes into the graphs and then I will click for an advice and here what happens is that it identifies a structural gap in the network so the two topics that could be connected but are not very well connected in this case you see it identified very nicely a topic on epidemic thresholds and also on small world networks so it selects those two topics and then it proposes me to think of a connection between them and if I don't want to think of the connection myself, so of course I can look at the statements and see that it's about fractal dimension and epidemic spreading, okay, and then small world networks and fractal networks. So maybe how well diseases spread in small world networks of fractal networks. I can write something about this here in the editor. Or I can also click facts and then the system will use GPT-3 AI to generate some interesting research ideas in relation to all those concepts. Okay, so here it says directly the fractal dimension of a complex network is directly related to the efficiency of information spreading in the network. So this is a good idea. Um, I will actually add it, but not as my own idea. It's going to have another tag. It's going to have an AI generated tag. The nodes appear. I will generate some more facts and move on to the next ideas. You see, so basically as I go through the graph, I can generate more and more ideas based on those topics or also based on selecting different ideas that I'm interested in. So for example, fractal network model demonstrate, click facts and GPT-3 will generate some interesting research ideas in relation to those topics. If I like what I see, I save it into the graph, it gets visualized and added into my existing discourse. All the things I add, they have different tags so that I can filter them out later and only have the AI facts or only have the, the interpret facts. Here I have the stuff that I wrote and uh, now I'm just going to export them as an MD file and importing it into a tool like uh, LockSec or Obsidian uh, will allow you to add this information that you generated using the graph back into your system. So this is how it works. You can try it on infranodus.com with uh, your own data from LogSec, Obsidian, Rome Research, RandNode. You can use um, all those tools. And all you need to do is just to generate uh, a markdown expert, then expert import all the files into the tool. Or you can also select uh, some files in the folder that is important for you and, and start only with some. Maybe this will be more interesting so you understand how the visualization works. Thank you.